OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, is something important that you've probably heard about before, but maybe you do not understand how important it is. Let's look at an example. Here is Thomas Paine's Common Sense from the late 1700s. What's nice about this document is that all the text has been individually recognized. So I can easily look up the compilers and it'll show up in the document exactly where that text is. Here's another document that I have, and it has some text in it, but it's not recognized. Unfortunately, it's not so easy, but I hope through this tutorial I can explain. First, we need to install something called Tesseract. Now, we want to select one for our system. We're going to select one for Windows. So we just click this link for our system. I have a 64-bit system, so I'll download the 64-bit version. You can easily check if you have a 64-bit system by typing in system information to the Windows Start menu and then looking for the 64-bit moniker right here. Once Tesseract has finished downloading, I'm going to open and run the installer. I'm going to click Yes to allow it to install where it needs to. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to agree to the terms of service. I'm going to allow it for everyone. And you can just accept the default options here. Now that we've installed Tesseract, we actually need to add it to the system's environmental path variable. That sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. Let's first click this PC, then C, then Program Files, and then we need to look for Tesseract OCR. This is where Tesseract has installed in. All we need to do is click this directory and hit Copy, or right-click Copy. We need to go back to the start menu and type in path variables. Now you'll see an option here that says edit system environmental variables. We want to select that. Next, we want to click on environmental variables. Next, on system variables, we want to click on path and then click edit. Next, at the very bottom here, we want to select new. And then we want to paste in what we just copied, Tesseract OCR. Hit OK, hit OK, and hit OK. Now that we've finished installing Tesseract OCR, we can move on to installing what's called Image Magic. We're going to go to the Downloads page here, and we're going to look for the one for Windows here. We just want the default Image Magic HDRI for Windows. I have a 64 bit system again, so I'm going to download the 64 bit version. If you have a 32-bit, then you will have to download the 32-bit version. Now that ImageMagic has finished downloading, we can now install it. I'm going to click Yes to allow it to install it where it needs to. I'm going to accept the agreement. And this is very critical. You want to click this button here that says Install Legacy Utilities Convert. That's going to be useful later. And then we're just going to let it install. There's one more package that we have to install, and that's Python. If you don't already have Python installed, we want to go to the python.org website. Now that we're on the Python page, we want to mouse over the Downloads tab and then select Download for Windows, and then launch the installer. Now, I've already installed Python, but you can accept the basic options. Make sure that when you're installing Python that you have Installs Pip selected we will then actually have to install one more dependency called GhostScript. We want to install the version for Windows. I'm going to select the 64-bit version since I have a 64-bit system. We want to select the GPL version, not the commercial version. Next, we'll run the installer. Simply hit Next, I agree, and let it install. We don't want the README. Do, though we do want to generate the CID fmap for Windows. Now that we've installed Python, we need to go to bit.ly forward slash python ocr script simple. And that'll open up my GitHub GIST, which has a basic Python script that'll allow us to easily convert any PDF into an OCR PDF. Now right click on the raw button and click save link as. Now we want to navigate to our desktop, then click our OCR PDF folder, and then click Save. Next, open up Command Prompt. Go to the Windows Start menu here and type in CMD, and then hit Enter. Simply type in pip install pi 
PDF2 and hit enter. Now we'll simply drag in our original .pdf into this directory. Now simply double click convert.py and it should convert our original PDF here. As you'll see, it doesn't have any text selected. But if I go back and double click on original OCR combined PDF, you will now see that it has text, all of which is selectable. Not only that, it's accurate. I can type in 12 point text to test the OCR code and it works. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Personally, I use OCR PDFs all the time for my classes and I hope this is useful for you as well. Thank you for watching.